Good morning, Detroit. How are you today? I am Apostle Shirley Wharton, and I am the pastor of God's Way Deliverance Ministry located in Southfield, Michigan. And I'm also the visionary and the founder of Nurturing Women, a women's ministry. And I want to welcome you to our show today, Do the Right Thing. Do the Right Thing can be seen every Sunday morning on Comcast Channel 20 via the Bell Global Network. You can also get us on YouTube. You can do BGNTVGospel.com. There are many ways to get us, and we have many dynamic speakers and so we're asking you to tune in and hear the word of the Lord and today as you can see I have uh, some special guests that I'm sure that you recognize to my left of me is a uh, uh, Prophetess Lenore Strange. To my right is Prophet William Thornton. And we decided today that we were going to come together and we were just going to expound the word of the Lord. And each one of us, we're just going to sort of share uh, what God is saying to us, not only in this season, but for the future to come. Amen. Amen. And so we just want to share with you all what God is saying, what we believe that God is saying to each one of us. And I think... When it all is said and done, we're going to all wind up at the same place because the word of the Lord said he would not tell us anything. But first, he was going to reveal it to the prophets. Amen? Amen. 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 And so today, we are excited ourselves because we are in anticipation of what God is going to say and what God Ooh. is going to do. Amen. But we do know one thing, that we are going to have a glorious yeah. time. And we do know another thing, that God has given each one of us a word in due season. Mm -hmm. Amen. And you that have an ear to hear. We admonish you today to hear the word of the Lord and hear what God has to say in this season. Amen. Amen. Well, how are my co-hosts doing today? Blessed. Amen. Blessed. Amen. Yes. And that's right. it. We are blessed. And I'm just a blessed also, too, about what God is saying. And I don't know about the two of you, but I do know that now when I find myself praying, I the one of the main things God is saying to me is to have an ear to hear. Yes. Yes. Have an ear to hear. And sometimes he says so many times I tell him, I want to say, God, what is it that I mm. am not hearing? Mm. And so God is speaking in this season as never before. Amen. And I do know that there are many voices speaking. And God is saying to each one of us, we have to have the relationship with him that we can distinguish his yes. voice yes. among all other voices. Yes. Because he did say, my sheep know my voice and mm -hmm. a stranger they will not follow. Yes. And one of the things that God is really saying to me, and I know is I'm not by myself, mm -hmm. but he is saying that he wants more of me. Amen. That this is a time and this is a season when I cannot afford any distractions. Amen. I cannot afford to be uh, put myself involved in anything other than what he is saying. Because I'm finding out that too many of us, we are, the enemy is coming in and he's fooling us. He's mm. deceiving us to get in with a whole lot of different programs that he did not ordain for oh, us. Oh, oh. And it can be a good right. word, and it All can right. be a good word, Amen, but it's Lord. not for you. Amen. Oh, That's right. And so we truly have to have an mm. ear to hear in this season yes. as never before and know mm. the path that God has called for us to walk Amen. in Amen. and not be deceived. And you know, because we got really a lot of well-meaning people, and we all know them. We got well-meaning people, and they mean well. Well, you need to do this, and you need to do that, and you need to do this. We have to know what God is saying to us in this season Amen. as never before. Amen. And I just want to hear, maybe it's, it's God saying the same thing to you all, or maybe he's saying something a little bit different. Uh, in the book of Jeremiah, chapter mm -hmm. 1, verse 7, uh, I just heard that you was uh, uh, ministering and going forth in exhortation. God synchronizes his will. Mm -hmm. He told Jeremiah, when Jeremiah said, I'm only a child. Mm -hmm. God said, don't say that you're a child. That's when he began to synchronize. He said, first of all, you're going to go where I send you, where mm -hmm. I command you mm -hmm. to go. Mm -hmm. And you're going to hear and Amen. say what I give you to say. Amen. That means Amen. he had to have Amen. an ear That's to hear it. what the Lord is saying yes. and what the enemy was, uh, wants to do, Apostle. He wants to get us out of God's will. Yes. Yes. He wants to distract us mm -hmm. with things that are not meaningful to him yes. that might be meaningful to us. Yes. That means we're going to put our, our, our position and our careers and everything before God. 
And that's a, that's a very dangerous error to do. And you are so right. And you know something? Yeah. And a lot of times we are so worn out mm -hmm. from doing Kids. what everybody else wants us to do. Mm -hmm. Then when it comes down to doing what God has told us to do, we're too tired. Oh. We're too frustrated. You uh, know, yeah. and we can't do it. What would mm -hmm. you say, Prophet? Well, I Prophet agree with that 100%. Plus, the Lord was uh, also sharing with me not only the distractions, but he was also letting me know it's the love of God. Mm -hmm. You know, it seemed like in this day and this hour, the church is kind of going void of the love of God. You know, we used to doing things, doing works and doing things and, you know, like you said, man pleasing and doing what everybody else wants us to do. But this is the season that God is saying, return to your first love. Yes. Mm -hmm. But he it. broke it down to me just like ABC, this is what he showed me. He showed me, he said, remember the day when you first got saved. And that day, Apostle, mm -hmm. I felt the love of God so strong in my heart. It was so powerful. I wanted to save everybody. I wanted to tell everybody about the love of God. And I had a zeal and I had a zest and I had a desire for the things of God. It was so strong. And I wanted to do everything that God told me to do. But somewhere along the line, things change. Mm -hmm. But God is trying to bring us back. Mm -hmm. You know, he said we can do all these things, but we don't have the love of God. And think about it. When you think about the love of God and how you do things and how you respond to God, do you have that zeal and that zest? To help your brother and to help your sister, to help in the ministry, to, mm. to, to come together. And he gave me a vision of the the um, paralyzed man on the stretcher. Okay. And this man needed the love of his mm -hmm. brothers and mm -hmm. his sister because he needed a breakthrough that he couldn't get himself. So they came together on one accord, the love of God on one accord. Everything about God is God is love, period. And they came together on one accord, and they girded up this man. They took him through the crowd, mm -hmm. on the rooftop, mm -hmm. and broke through. I mean, that's what it takes mm -hmm. sometimes. Mm -hmm. It takes a breakthrough with us coming together to get the will of God done. Mm -hmm. And God's will was for this man to be healed, set free, and delivered. Mm -hmm. And see, it's our job to come together with a true love for one Amen. another. Man. That we can come into this season doing miraculous things, doing having the love of God. And yeah. we're not just doing empty works. We're not just wearing a, a title or being an example to somebody else. But we've been an example to Christ. We're mm. walking as representatives in Christ. Yes. Amen. So in this mm. season, like you said, God is doing a quick work. Yes, he but is. you have to be at Jesus' feet. Yeah. And that's it. You have and to be able it. to lay it down yes. for him. Yes. And that's it. And if you are really hearing and obeying what yes. God is saying, he's saying, I, like I said in the beginning, he wants more of us. Yes. That relationship. Yes. And I think that's where we are missing it at mm -hmm. because so many of us, we don't have the relationship with the Lord. Yes. Like you said, when I first got saved, I mean, mm -hmm. I couldn't get enough of Jesus. Yes. But you know, he's bringing me, I'm coming back, back to yes. that. Yes. We Amen. get away from, yes. you know, things. Yes. But I'm coming back to that yes. because he said the world, that's how they're going to know that we right. belong to Jesus yes. is that the love we have one for Amen. another. And I can't say that I love him and then I mistreat you, my Amen. brother. Yeah. And I mistreat you, my sister. That's right. And that's now, okay, you open up a little can here. <laughs> <laughs> Praise God. That's and right. I want to say, in the church today, yes. mm. because of the lack of love yes. that we have one that's for right. another, yes. our churches are full of hurting people. Yes, they are. Oh. That have been not wounded by the world, but, the but wounded mm. by the church. Yes. Those that name the name of Jesus. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then we have so many now the outside of the church yes. that now they won't even come to church. They don't want any parts of church. Yes. They don't want any parts of Jesus. Yes. They look, they say, I, I can get what I need on TV mm -hmm. or whatever. All because they have been wounded in the household yes. of God Amen. because of that lack of love that yes. we have one for the another. Yes. Love is so important. Right. Yes. And I'm you know, and I'm learning that the more that I fall in love with him, yes. the more I can love mm -hmm. God's people. Yes. And I'm asking him, especially as a pastor, I'm asking the Holy Spirit. That's my one of my prayers. Yes. 
Father, love your people through me. Yeah. My Jesus. Minister to your people yes, through Lord. me. Because yes. I surely can't do it. Yes, yes Lord. It takes the love of God, yeah. amen, yeah. amen, to do it through me. Yeah. And we commit everything else to him. Yes. Why not commit ourselves to him and the people that he has placed in front of us, yes. that we love them back to Jesus? Yes. Man, you got your work cut out for you. Yes. Amen. amen. You got your work cut out for you. And, and, amen. and you're right about that. I you just want to say, say this one little part. I hear Christians all the time saying, you know, mm -hmm. I wish I could love this person. Mm -hmm. I wish I could mm -hmm. love my enemy. Mm -hmm. I wish I can even love my mm -hmm. family members. But the Lord said to me, that's an excuse. You know why? He said, because from day one, by the Holy Spirit, I downloaded my love. Mm -hmm. Everything yes. that you need oh, yes. as far as love yes. is already here. But sometimes we get wounded and hurt in the cares of this world, and you bury that love. Mm -hmm. So that's why you have to press back into a place that you can receive the love that you had when we first received the Lord. Amen. I think that as the works of Christ, that's what he did. Amen. Yeah, that's what he did. Did Amen. he display this love? Amen. Yes. I'm going to read the did. scripture real quick. Yeah. Amen. And it's found in John 9 and 4. And it says, I must work the works of yeah. him that sent me yes. while it is day. Mm. The night cometh when no man can work. Amen. Mm. Amen. 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 I believe God... I saw a scripture in Ephesians 2a in the Message Bible, and it says, Now God has us where he wants us. Mm -hmm. That's why you're saying, I can love you, yeah. but Christ, I can show the Christ love, but use me to show that love. Yeah. And I believe he has us in the right place at mm -hmm. the right time for the right, I believe not only for the right people, mm -hmm. but the right generation. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, we're talking about the millennials. And I was looking at millennials and, and the baby boomers. Mm -hmm. I believe that God is causing a merging. Yes. And yes. it's going to be emerging in 2018 mm -hmm. that it's not going to be a lost generation. Amen. And they, they don't even love Christ. They, 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 they don't even call themselves Christians. And God is going to use us mightily mm -hmm. to show the love of Jesus Christ to a generation that doesn't know what love is all about. Amen. Right. Amen. I really believe Amen. that. Amen. And you know, and I think for one thing too, because they don't know themselves. There you go. And you go. we have to know who we are. Yeah. Right. And I remember when I got saved, uh, Lenore and uh, Prophet Bill, I'm, these are my friends. <laughs> Take so your if time. I say it a little time. bit, and don't, <laughs> they, they understand. We Amen. Yeah, we good. Amen. Amen. Get you but I remember when I first uh, got saved. Mm -hmm. And you know, like you say, you you come into the church, you you hurt and you're wounded mm -hmm. and all of that. But we have to show this generation yes. Jesus. Yes. Yes. They are looking at us. Yes. And when I got wow. saved, mm -hmm. I got saved because of one person that I knew. She got saved, and I saw Jesus. Amen. And we want to say that nobody wants to. Yes, they do. They yes, just they have do. not seen him that's demonstrated right. Amen. in that's us. Right. That's and right. that's why I got saved. Ooh, because yes. all of a sudden, yes. it wasn't somebody just talking the talk, but it was somebody that was walking the walk. Yes. All right. And I saw the change for myself. Amen. And that's I saw right. the difference in somebody who really had the love of Jesus in their heart mm -hmm. and then somebody who was just talking about yes. the love of Jesus. Mm -hmm. There's a work. big difference. Yeah. You've seen him work. And that's, that's it. Right. You've seen him work. That's, and, 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 and that's it. And, and <clears throat> the people, and the God had for us when we first got saved, mm -hmm. some of them have gone on to be with the Lord now, yes. but they have left the deposit and the legacy yes. in us that we must carry out and carry mm -hmm. through so that we can raise a generation, so we can leave a legacy, mm -hmm. and it goes on and on until mm -hmm. Jesus Christ comes. And that's Amen. it. You are so right. Amen. 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 And when the word tells us that we're supposed to be representative. Yes. All right. Yes. Living epistles. Yes. Can you is. imagine that living love? Mm-hmm. Embracing love. Mm -hmm. That means I can knock at your door at two o'clock in the morning and you won't give me that. Mm -hmm. You're going to open your mm -hmm. arms and say, How can I help you, sister? What's going mm -hmm. on? Mm -hmm. Or you can even tell me your deepest secret. Out of love, you won't share that with nobody. That's right. See, love embraces, it doesn't judge, it doesn't uh, uh, shun, mm -hmm. it don't, you don't have to be a status. You don't have to be a Pharisee or a Pharisee. You can be the lowest of the lowest. God said he came, Jesus came for the whole world. Yes. So everybody has the opportunity to accept that type of love. And I'm telling you, there is no greater love. 
That is an awesome experience to be in the presence of God. I'm telling you, just by being filled with the Holy Ghost, going into the presence of God, yes. I'm telling you, if you haven't been there, I'm telling you, and if you've been there and you neglected that love, mm. it's time to return to that love. God has such a great um, uh, a path for yeah. you. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, he wants the greatest of the mm -hmm. greatest. See, you would have heard things like, you don't have to go through no more once you give your life to the Lord. Oh, you got to be purged. You know you got junk in you. And God wants to take all that stuff out of you. Mm -hmm. And he wants to download all of him in you. And he wanted more than anything to give you that love shed abroad in our hearts. See, we're incapable of our natural flesh mm -hmm. to give that type of love. Mm -hmm. But once you give your life to the love, to the Lord, there is nothing, I mean, unconditional love. Amen. I thank God for that because if he didn't love us unconditionally, we wouldn't be sitting here today. Amen. Amen. Uh -huh. Perfect love casts out all oh, fear. And, that's and, it. and as you was ministering on love, you know, the body of Christ, if they really show the love of yes. Jesus Christ, they will come together. Now, I'm looking at this table now. Here's three different ministries mm -hmm. have come together for yeah. one purpose mm -hmm. only, yeah. and that's to glorify God and to live in one accord yes. what Jesus is saying through the Holy Spirit. But unfortunately, the enemy has caused a divisive spirit to come and not show love, mm -hmm. but show a, 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 a spirit of it's mine, and, and, and these, this is mine, and, and there's no want to go out and fellowship with other ministries mm -hmm. because this is mine. Mm -hmm. You know, no, no, no. Mm -hmm. The body of Christ belongs no to, God, yeah. to God, Christ yes. himself. Amen. And the love of God is shared abroad in his heart. By the Holy Spirit. Amen. And that's the love of Jesus Christ is to go out and show that love even in other ministries, even in other churches, mm -hmm. because you don't have it all. No, you don't. Come on, somebody. You, no, you we don't, don't have it all. That's and right. collectively, we can come together and we can be in agreement and show the love of Jesus Christ to a dying yeah. world that needs to hear that Jesus saves especially in this season that we're in, in uh, December, uh, Christmas is approaching, mm -hmm. where Amen. we celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen. And you know, that was one of his prayers, yes. was that we be one. Yes. Come on. Mm -hmm. And that is the one thing that the enemy has worked and worked and worked to keep mm -hmm. us divided. Yes. You know, we can't come together on how to be <clears> baptized. <throat> we can't come together on nothing. And I remember when I got saved, I had this group over here telling me you got to mm -hmm. be baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Then I had this group over here telling me, no, you got to go down in Jesus' name. So you know what? I said, well, Lord, I don't know what to do. Amen. So I went and got baptized in both of them. I, <laughs> I said, well, I figured this will cover, this will cover the whole gamut. So if they tell me I have to be baptized in Jesus' name, I can say I, been, I did that. If they tell me I got to be baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I can tell them, well, I did that, so I'm covered. Yeah, <laughs> I'm telling you, but we are so divided yes. in everything. We can't. We got churches now that say that the the uh, the prophets uh, died out, the apostles died out. The God is not speaking now. He'll tell you what He wants you to know, and all of this is a lie. Mm -hmm. Because if it was not for the prophetic, I don't know what I'd do. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna right. tell you the truth. That that's why I I mean so many times. I have, oh, and listen, let me tell you something while we're here. God has so many ways of speaking to us. Yes. And I get so tired the minute you say you are a prophet or you are a prophetess. It, well, you got a word for me? You said that. You got a word for me? You know, it's just like we the genie in the bottle. You know, just rub my stomach or rub my head. And I'm, listen, yes, you can get all the words you want. Open up this Bible from Genesis to Revelation. God is speaking and he has a <clears throat> word for you. And obey the word. Amen. And a lot of times mm -hmm. that's the problem. We yeah. are not Ooh. obeying what we do here. That's right. Everybody, you get in line. Well, what you saying here? Then you get over here. What you saying over here? What you do something with what God has already given you. Mm -hmm. We are allowing fear. You said perfect love cast out all fear. But we are allowing fear to come in and overtake us and to undermine what God is saying to us. Yeah. Amen. God, everything God gives us, it's not just for us. It is for his people. Amen. Amen. 
Amen. And some of us, we are so fat and we are so full Stay off of it. the word. Because yes. we're just steady taking in, but we are not giving out anything. Yes. My wife and I was talking, uh, Dr. Lorraine, mm -hmm. and she said something uh, to me that, that I, have, I have clinged on to. I don't want to leave this planet mm -hmm. and go to heaven full. Amen. And and that's something when you just said we were fat with the that's word. It. It's time for us to evangelize. It's time that's for us. It. But you got to do it in it. love. And got and to. Every every topic that we're got talking to. about today Point is collaboratively. It's saying the same thing. Do the works of Christ. That's it. That's right. that, that that sent us while it is day. Because it's going to be a time that's that we're it. not going to be here. Mm -hmm. And then who's going to hear the word? Who's going to receive the that's word? It. Because. God is going to take us out of here. That's I it. mean, they just said that Jerusalem is the capital of Israel. Now, now you know, we're, we're, it's getting closer yes. and closer yes. and yes. closer. And it's time for folks to wake up, Amen. church. Amen. Yes. Amen. It's Amen. time for folks Amen. to wake up and see and see what time and what season it is. Amen. I, um, I was also reminded of the word that you and your wife gave at the breakfast. Yes. And the word was acceleration. Amen. And when you look at the world now, I mean, we, I know I was praying and the Lord said, Shirley, you are on a fast track. I mean, right now, you just don't have time to stop, to think. You, we got to know our God. Mm -hmm. We got to know that he is God and that he is speaking in this hour and in mm. this season as never before. Mm -hmm. We don't have time to second guess what God is saying. I yeah. got to know that now this is my daddy. Mm -hmm. This is who is speaking to me. I know your oh voice. We have to know how he deals with us. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because oh he there is a certain way that he deals with all of us. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. The, and because I'm telling you, and I honestly know beyond a shadow of a doubt, it is now, it is in the praise, it is in the worship, mm -hmm. that when we begin to praise him, when we begin yes. to worship him, it takes us right into the presence of the Holy yes. Spirit. And I'm noticing that he begins to speak. He yes. begins to download yes. stuff. There yes. are times when I'm sitting and I'm just watching television or something, oh, and I'm just sitting there call myself chilling. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, I feel that little nudge. Mm -hmm. And you oh, know, yes. and it excites yes. me. Yes. And yes. all of a sudden, I say, mmm. You know how when you get eat something that's really good, the words yeah. that taste and see yeah. that he's good, and all of a sudden I said, mm, and I feel that little staring, and I'll cut the TV off or I'll put it on mute, and I begin to just say, thank you, Jesus. Yeah. And all of a sudden, the Holy Spirit, Spirit yes. just begins to just come in and mm -hmm. he just begins to overflow me and yes. he begins to speak to me. And it's at those times, I'm telling you the mm -hmm. truth, I call it when God comes in and he mm -hmm. arrests you. Mm -hmm. That's when you are not even expecting him to. He just comes in and he's saying, I want your attention. And you know, and he's testing us mm -hmm. to see, are you willing to put down your program? Well, yes. To hear what I have to say. Okay. Right. Are you willing to stop what you're doing you do right now? Yeah. To put yeah. me first. Yeah. Or is this program or what you are doing more important than what I have to say? Mm -hmm. And what I want to do. Be still. Be still. Amen. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, God is moving. And he's saying, I'm, I'm just accelerating the time. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. another thing he's saying, but, and I'm putting you in strategic places now. All right. And so don't think it's strange, in other words, where you wind up at, mm -hmm. where God puts you or where he's taking you. Yes. And sometimes you might not even understand why you are there. That's right. And you'll go in and you say, well, Lord, I don't even understand. Why did you tell me to come here? And you can go back home still wondering. And it might be days or weeks later than all of a sudden yeah, that down. he began to uncover and began to reveal and let you know why I had you to go to that particular place place in that particular spot for that particular time. Amen. Uh, the Bible says in Amos uh, 3, 7, surely the Lord God <coughs> will do nothing, mm -hmm. but he reveals mm -hmm. his secrets unto mm -hmm. his servants, the prophets. And now this is a, this is a, this is a season, I know it is, a season where God is beginning to speak to his true prophets. Amen. Not any prophets. That's it. You just said That's that, even coming to the God will magnify himself mm -hmm. and his glory through his servants, the prophets. And when he speaks a word, it will be so authentic, 
It won't be spurious. Mm -hmm. It won't be phony. It won't be a kind job. Mm -hmm. It won't be something that I got to pay money to get. It will be an anointing behind that word yes. because God's mm -hmm. going to manifest what the That's true right. prophets That's are right. going to say. But it's going to be a revealing that he will have to open up the door and, uh, and, and, and give us permission to yes. speak in season. Yeah. We just can't say anything nope, at any right. time nope. in nope. the prophetic of this season because, see, uh -huh. 2018 is going to be very different. Yeah. All kinds of stuff going to be jumping off. All yeah. kinds of stuff is going to be happening with the mm -hmm. government. Mm -hmm. All things are going to be happening in America. Mm -hmm. All things are going to be happening to the church. All things are going to be happening with leaders. Mm -hmm. And people are going to have to know that there's a God and there's a real God. And his prophets are going to have to stand and speak mm -hmm. in faith mm -hmm. and prophesy mm -hmm. The truth. Amen. And the truth will set you free with signs and wonders following. That's what's Amen. going to happen in 2018. Amen. The prophets Amen. are going to come forth. Amen. Mm. Hey, how are you? I'm sorry I had to break in, but you know how it is. I know you have enjoyed part one, and we will be coming back next week for those who didn't get part one with part two. And I know you have enjoyed our Christmas special because this is a Christmas special. This is our gift to you. And it not only was I ministering today, but you was listening to Prophet Bill William Thornton and Prophetess Lenore Strange. So stay tuned for part two and be blessed. May the Lord bless you and do the right thing. Everybody, this is your girl Vicky Wines, and you're watching Bell Global Network. My name is Mike Duggan, and I'm watching the Bell Global Network. Hey, keep it locked. It's your boy D. Hattie watching the Bell Global Network. You know how it is. Hi, I'm Charlie Langton, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. Hi, this is Martha Reeves, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. Hi, everybody. I'm telling you, everything that happened to me that was good, God did it. I'm Evelyn Turrentine, AG, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. This is Pastor D. Alexander Bullock of Preachers of Detroit, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. This is Bishop Edgar Van of Second Ebenezer Church in Detroit, Michigan, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. Hi, I'm Bernadette Stannis. You know me best as Thelma from the TV show Good Times. And you are watching Bell Global Network. What's up, everybody? This is your girl, Vicki Winans, and you're watching Bell Global Network.